This is the psychology of incels. I figured it out because I've seen six of their comments on the video that I did about incels. And let's be honest, the only reason I'm doing this is because it performed better than most of my other videos. So now that we're all on the same level, let's get honest about you incels. You have a defeatist mindset. And I feel sorry for you. I really do. Because I thought that your attacks would be like when you say something and then it's like, you know, women in general do this and then there's feminists that come on and just go, general? That shit, right? No. <laughs> incels are so much more. They have such lower self-esteem than that. Because... An indicator of somebody who has high self-esteem is somebody who you can make a joke about them and then they just go, <laughs> yeah, anyway, on with the rest of my day because that was just words when people with lower self-esteem just go, eat not, you're a dick. They have that response and then people that are even lower than that disqualify themselves before you can make fun of them. I didn't really say anything that was mean-spirited towards incels in that video. Maybe I did, I watched it once. Look, let's be honest, I'm a pretty mean-spirited man. I'm, I'm basically Nelson Muntz. I probably said a lot of mean things to them. And if I did, not really sorry either. But what I, what I have noticed from it, though, is that you are disqualifying yourself instantly. Can you think of anything less attractive to a woman? Go back to caveman times. What does a woman want? They essentially want Donald Trump to just sit there and go, I'm going to get you the biggest cave. I'm going to protect you from so many saber-toothed tigers. Look at this necklace. All saber-toothed tigers. Really? Those look like a couple of snapping turtle heads. No, no. No, no. They just had bad cavities. That's the, where the eyeballs are. They just had terrible tiger. The worst tiger. They, they want somebody who is constantly backing themselves. That is... Every psychology book that you ever read will tell you that, that what women find attractive is confidence. Clearly, you don't have any. And that's not your fault. I don't know. Maybe it is probably. Probably you're an asshole at school and then you got bullied as a result of that. But every now and then there is a bully that doesn't. And they are bullied for other reasons. But it seems like you've just come to accept that you suck as a human being. Far out. Um... I don't know really how to get out of that instantly. You can't really. There's things that you can do, like change your physiology. For instance, did you know that if you just smile for 30 seconds, you are going to be happier for the next hour? Scientific fact. <laughs> and <laughs> so, <laughs> what the hell was that? What am I? Some Maori chief? <laughs> Look, now I want you to think about this in the broader context, though, which is that if you have that mindset, it's going to level out to the rest of your life. This is what people don't understand about picking up puss. The thing is, you can pick up way more mutmut. -mut. How much better are the words puss and mutmut -mut than vagina and, I don't know, the vey vey? No, actually, that's all right. But the thing is, I stand by it. The old classic slang words like dick, schlong, cock, they're all great for penis, but these new ones like mutmut. -mut, it's just got a nice sound to it. It sounds like something that should be in Kirby's Dreamland that you latch onto and you go, Yay, I get to get into space now. So, when it comes to incels and their problems in life, it is probably just an extension of the rest of their personality. Well, it's definitely from social intelligence. The fact that you are sitting there saying, oh, I'm ugly, I've tried, now I'm going to give up. Really, you've tried with all 3.2 billion women on Earth, have you? It's probably more. Don't smart ass me in the comments about this. I don't want any sass from you about how many women there actually are in the world. In fact, I'm just gonna give it a, my rough estimate now of 700 million. <laughs> Prove me wrong. The rest are guys and hermaphrodites. Now, have you, have you, have you talked to all 700 women? No. Probably what's happened is you've talked to maybe one or two you probably got rejected, let's be honest, usually due to your own social awkwardness. And the thing is, when they're saying, I'm giving fuck off signals, dude, they give that to everyone. That is just one phase of a woman's defense, because unlike you, who's just trying to go like, <laughs> oh shit, shit, she likes me, time to get out, I, I lost my pants, uh, well, you're just gonna have to count that, my wallet was in it anyway, I'll just have to run home naked. Look. That's how our minds work, right? But theirs is about putting out all these disqualifications in front of you to make sure that you don't impregnate them because then they have to fucking deal with that for nine months 
minimum. <laughs> and let's be honest, in cave with times, I'm sure a lot of that happened of just going like, I don't want to look after this and just walk away while it just sits there going, eh, I guess your saber tooth will beat my mom. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's the raw end of it, right? And what has happened, this is the saddest point of all of it. You've disqualified yourself before you've even gotten to her disqualifications. What is that all about? Again, as I pointed out in the previous video, I know very ugly men that are dating hot chicks. I know a lot of people that go, well, I know ugly men that are dating ugly chicks or none at all. Yeah, I'm not saying, that might even be the rule. It probably is the rule. Let's be honest, I don't hang out with that many ugly students that hang around in uni dorms anymore, but the fact that there is men out there that are very ratty in appearance, Again, the guys with dreads that deal weed, that are just constantly drowning in moot juice. What is the difference? The difference is that they're chill, funny, happy guys. And it's very obvious from your comments you're not. You're going to have to work on that. That is a personal flaw in you. And even, even if you are never going to, if, if you're right, even if, let's just assume that you can never get a woman because you're like, half a head shorter than everyone else. <laughs> well, you don't have a bridge nose. One of those things. Let's assume you're right about that. Your attitude on women and the fact that you're sitting there saying that I suck instantly, that's going to reflect for the rest of your life on everything else you do. You will never master anything because you are not backing yourself. Now, you can go too far in the other direction and that's what's happened to our society in general is that we were taught since the 70s that you're good because you exist. Oh, you didn't clap with me? Well, you're still good, yay. And in Japan, they were just like, you work harder. And that's why they've become much more educated and much more intelligent than we have in, in East Asia because they've been <laughs> basically Encouraging all their mums to be tiger mums that sit there and be like, your break is to study violently. But there's a happy middle ground in that. Why can't you have both? Why can't you work on skills and competency and also work on your attitude, on your inner game? You need to get into this headspace of the fact that you like yourself at the very least because you can't expect anyone to like you if you don't like yourself. That is insane to sit there and go, women hate me. Why? Well, it couldn't have anything to do with the fact that I hate me. Stop hating yourself so much. You've probably got a lot of good things going for you. Even if you are, I'm imagining most of the time when you see incels and when you see them get interviewed, it's the same thing. Pretty much what they look like is people that just lack any social skills whatsoever and they are mistaking that for the fact that they're ugly. But a major part of the fact that they are ugly is because they lack social skills. I myself am like that. I like social skills. I just did a video on my main channel where I had a huge booger up my nose. And, and, and still, to this day, when people are like, that's disgusting, I'm like, show it your natural part of the body, baby. But the thing is that you can work on these things. You can read books about how to interact with women. Jesus, I mean, how big is pickup? I agree. A lot of pickup is crap, but it's the same thing in all self-help. A lot of all self-help is crap, but some pickup is very good. And you know what that pickup is? It's essentially social skills. That's all it boils down to. It's the same thing over and over again. People that are emotionally intelligent and socially intelligent advance in life. Those are the skills that you need. And so it's obvious that if you have that opinion of yourself, can I talk today, am I right? How often do you hear female radio jocks on Nova say that every time they screw up a word. Mm, can I talk to them? Um, I say it all the time as well. <laughs> I suck as much as it sells, man. Uh, but you have to get in, you have to get out of that frat. You have to get out of that mindset. And even if you are having that mindset and you're thinking that it's just around your mindset of women, I can assure you it's not because that that feeling of loathing is poisonous in the mind. Just in the same way that happiness is. All of these emotions just start building on themselves. So if you sit there and think that you're terrible with women and that women hate you automatically because your nose isn't exactly what was in the sculptures of ancient Rome, uh, if you think that, that is going to start 
building up in the rest of your life. You are going to have an ecosystem that, and I'm sure you're going to argue that oh, I'm doing really well in all my other fields. I doubt it. I really do. Maybe you're an anomaly that does. There are a lot of people that do have compartmentalized minds, right? But the thing is, the people generally, what you see, who move up in socioeconomic strata, who people started out poor and move up here, a lot of it was to do with their attitude. A lot of it was the fact that they accepted that they were going to have to work hard in their life. And this is another thing that it seems like. It's just like, okay, even if you are ugly and fat and little portly and you look like Mr. Tumnus, that doesn't mean that you can still not improve on yourself, surely. And even if you are improving on yourself and you don't get the mood mood because you're so ugly, you will be doing better in your job. You'll be doing better in your finances. You will become more educated. You will become more likable. You will have a better social circle of friends. That is what will happen. It is, I can assure you, that will be a lot better than just focusing on these 4chan and Reddit sites of all these other losers across the world that feel sorry for themselves because they're not, I don't know, Matthias Lauritsen. You don't even know who that is, do you? Do you? Hmm? Maybe he's like a huge thing in forums so where they're just like, fuck this guy. He's so perfect. And he is. Even as a former male model, I sit there and just be like, how? Oh, it's cheap, both better than mine. But I want to leave you with this piece of advice. All the time that you're currently spending in those forums, switch it around. Just start reading some books on social intelligence like Daniel Goleman or, you know, Tyler RFD or any of those people. You just go and switch to pick up. It is better than the mindset that you have now because this is what you actually see. I've got some friends that were into pick up. I was never into it. No, seriously, I was for a very long time. But I'm into all genres of self-help. Don't box me. Uh, but I was, into, I was into all of them, right? Thing is, the guys that were just into pickup, they might not be doing as well as I am in life in general, but they are doing better than most people in life because it is transferable skills. Sitting there and dwelling on why you suck is not a transferable skill. It just makes people hate you, which is even crueler, <laughs> isn't it? Because basically what you are doing is saying to the world that we are the world's runt, because that's what's happened to you guys, right? You're, you're an internet-wide joke. And that's really sad, because really, it's the same thing as when someone just becomes uber feminist or something like that. It's just they've been sitting in this like gross little bubble of toxicity, and they've just been festering on that. Get out of that bubble. Start reading social intelligence books. Do this for me. Read 10 social intelligence books. Come back and tell me that you feel, feel and think the same way that you did when you were on those forums. All right.